SOS, Meg crying on floors, Harry League's South African choir about raising a bald head, abused by psycho wife. Prince Harry asked a South African choir for a group hug backstage at a summit in Tokyo today after its conductor told them he was so modest for such an icon. The Duke of Sussex urged the Stellenbosch University singers to keep spreading the love and asked, can we have one group hug, before they all shouted, South Africa. Their conductor, Andre Vandermoor, praised Harry for meeting with them, saying, thank you that you spent so much time with us for such an icon, so modest. Here, Harry shared the reel because of his severe baldness, it's because of Meghan. Speculation about Prince Harry's hair loss is nothing new. Dr. Sim Shamalak, a consultant hair transplant surgeon at Crown Clinic, stated back in March 2020 that Prince Harry's bald patch has more than doubled in size. Speaking to the Crown Clinic, the hair loss expert said Prince Harry's bald patch is most noticeable around the crown area, but his hair is thinning really fast towards the front of his hairline, too. Dr. Shamalak warned of the Windsor baldness gene, adding that Prince Harry has just been unlucky. That gene has really kicked in, or it could also be due to frequent attacks by her wife. Meghan has always been said to be an extremely violent person, it's something that has been verified by her brother, so the fact that the Sussex family was attacked by her psychosis is nothing new. Hence the fact that Harry jokes about the cause of his hair loss, also partly to determine her violent tendencies. Before that, things got so bad between Meghan and the royal staff that they called her a narcissistic sociopath. They also reportedly said on repeated occasions, we were played. The group of former staff even came up with a name for themselves, the Sussex Survivors Club. Their key members were Private Secretary Sam Cohen, Communications Chief Sarah Latham, and Assistant Press Secretary Marnie Gaffney. In the first extract published on Friday, Lowe detailed the alleged bullying of staff undertaken by Meghan, denied emphatically by them, which reportedly left their staff broken and shaking with fear. Part of the problem with dealing with Meghan's alleged bullying, according to one source, was the supposed gentility and civility of palace staff, which Meghan would likely contest to. When someone decides to not be civil, they have no idea what to do. They were run over by her, and then run over by Harry. Meghan had a bad relationship with Edward Young, the then Queen's private secretary, and Clive Alderton, Charles' private secretary. With that passed, it's not unusual for Meghan to attack Harry and his family in anger. At the summit today, Harry told the audience that he would happily live here if they'd have him. He smiled, laughed, and gleefully waved to the crowd as he praised the warmth, compassion, and generosity of the special Japanese culture. Harry was greeted with rapturous applause at the summit after saying, well, firstly, hello everybody. It comes after friends of the Sussexes blasted claims of marriage tensions amid speculation about their Hollywood future and rumored strains behind the scenes. Meanwhile, Buckingham Palace has quietly ditched in His Royal Highness's title from the royal family's website, and it emerged Netflix executives paid £3 million for the film rights to a novel that the Sussexes will produce for their network.